Hi, my name is Brian LeBlanc, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SOLIDWORKS Inspection Standalone Package, and specifically how to import as well as extract the Bill of Materials, in this case relating to our AS9102 reports, but this can also be applicable to other templates that you have set up. Now, I've got two options. Import uh, relates to if I have a .csv file set up, expand that so you can see what the information is, and I've got the appropriate columns relating to the appropriate information that I'd like to pull in to the report. So if I import that CSV file, the columns will line up and appropriately the information will go into the right column. And if I need to add more information, like maybe a supplier code, I can do that manually. I can also take advantage of the optical character rec recognition by clicking on this icon and then dragging a box around something. Now, of course, this took some manual effort to begin with because I would have had to create that .csv file. So let's look at a different way that's maybe a little faster. If I have a parts list, and this would have to be in a PDF or TIFF format, just like the original drawing we would have brought into our project. So let's bring in my PDF file. Say Add Drawing, find the PDF file. Maybe you'll go to a 100% view so I can make sure I capture everything. Now when I hit Extract, I can draw a box around my parts list, and it will pull in all the information using the OCR and I can right click and assign these to specific categories. Maybe I'll make this the part name. Now the ones that are unassigned, when I hit OK, those will be left blank and I'm still free to go in and either enter in things manually or again use the OCR recognition. So let's just try that with you know, maybe this thing up here, maybe that's our report number or something just as an example. Now if I need to add more entries, maybe in this parts list I have some stuff that isn't contained yet, I can just hit this arrow with the plus, and now I'm free to enter whatever information I want. If I need to delete entries, I can always hit this delete button, and that will be removed. Okay, so from there, once I export to Excel, and again, let's use that AS9102, here's my result. And of course, in this form, uh, form one, part number accountability, it's all appropriately filled in based upon the template that we've used. Okay, so today we looked at SolidWorks Inspection Standalone, and specifically how to enter the bill of materials using both the import and extraction methods. Thanks for watching.